Okay, I'm back. I want to show you a bucket I made. Now, um, I guess it's probably been about a week of when I saw it. Um, I belong to the Facebook group uh, Jador Ulala, and it is by from uh, Doreen Rook is the one who um, it's her Facebook group. Now, um, she uh, challenged a bunch of us to do an altered suitcase. Uh, if you all are familiar with the movie um, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, well, this is the Sisterhood of the Traveling Vintage Suitcase. So we have to alter a suitcase. And um, the point of the suitcase is that, as, as she did, as told her design team members, that, and she gave them each a suitcase, and uh, they had to alter it. And the point of the suitcase is that whenever, should they ever meet up together and are able to craft together, you're to take your suitcase and fill it with things that you would like to use in a project that you want to make when you guys meet up and are together. And by the way, Doreen, I think that's an awesome idea. And thank you so much for challenging us and letting me be a part of that. So um, I am in the process of altering my suitcase. Um, and I'm almost there. Um, and we could use any kind of suitcase, a vintage one, uh, a CD case, whatever we could find as long as we all made it into like a suitcase. Now, um, I found this little suitcase at Michael's and as you can see it is one of them ones. I'm in the process of painting it and then you, we can alter the inside and the outside. Now, while we're doing that, uh, on the Facebook group is how I'll get to this. I wanted to dye a bunch of stuff to have it all up and ready. Now I've tea dyed some stuff and coffee dyed and then uh, avocado dyed. But just recently I started, I, I did a bunch more of the tea dyeing and I did it with trims like from D. It gave it a pretty champagne. Um, now the point of dyeing all of this is um, like these are all from D and uh, Leoneca the doilies, um, Artie, Maggie, oops, I just threw my beads everywhere, oh, I'll have to fix that, a uh, bow, and, uh, the reason I'm dying so much is that I want, on my suitcase, I want to use pieces of all of my scrappy friends that have ever given me anything, uh, just in case I ever go visit them, I can take my little suitcase, so, with that said, um, you know, it, I, I dyed and dyed and dyed. Um, this was dyed with using the right dye in pink and brown, and see how dark pink it came out? This was using just a few little drops of the pink so that it would come out a lot lighter. I don't know if that'll pick that up, but um, I dyed cheesecloth. Um, just all kinds because I'm in the mood for making flowers. So, back to the idea of making flowers. I started making my flowers and I went through my closet over there that has a bunch of my silk flowers and I have to tell you, um, I found a bucket in there of wedding flowers that I completely forgot about because I wanted to see what all I had to incorporate in my flowers that I'm making. Right now I'm making shabby ones, but I want to make some material ones, ribbon ones, you name it. Um, and I was telling Ellis, I said, Ellis, I want to make sprays and some of them decorated leaves that everybody's doing. And this is the thing that you put on the, the bride's um, head. But I found some, and as you can see, it has some of the leaves on there with the um, sequins and the pearls. And I thought, oh my gosh, very cool. So, as I was looking through there to make my flowers, on the Jador Ulala uh, Facebook group, there is a lady named Kathy Lynn, and I can't pronounce her last name, T-K-A-V-E, or T-K-A-V-E-V. T, or, oh, I'm spelling that wrong, oh my goodness, T-K-A-K-E-V-I-C. Now, she made an altered bucket. Well, as I was looking for my flowers, I found my bucket that was in there, and it had some sprays and stuff in it, the beaded ones. 
And so I was like, oh, that's, I should make one of them buckets because it, hers is, of course, gorgeous. But I was inspired to do the bucket. And so now she has her little ribbon things like that. I'm not going to use that, but I wanted to show you what she had done with hers. Um, the little uh, trims on a clothespin. I want to make a bunch of my little shabby flowers and put them in here. But real quick before I show you that, I painted the bucket. Uh, this is some of the trim from Neri, who, and I tea dyed it. I put some trim right there, a doily down there, a doily inside there. And then this two pieces right here is actually one doily cut in half. I glued the edges and I folded them in. This is another um, doily, but it's actually that color. It came off of a, a pillowcase sham. And then I just put uh, pearls in there, some of the wedding trim flower I found in my bucket. Oh, I am just can't believe I had all that and forgot all about it. Put more trim, some of the flat pearls on a rope from Hobby Lobby. Uh, Neri uh, gave me a bunch of material, and so I want to tea dye this here in a little bit, this piece here that's left, and um, make flowers out of it. Where I dyed so much, I got a huge bucket, and I was wringing it all out and rinsing it and wringing it, that I ended up giving myself a really bad blister. And all of my edges right there and my fingers hurt so bad from where I did so much. But I wanted to dye it and have it ready to start my flowers. Well, as I was starting my flowers and come across the bucket, I needed something to put them in, so I did a bucket. So what I did was I cut strips to cover the handle and to make some rolled roses. Now, uh, I was online with Leah Neca yesterday on Skype, and she uh, and me together did this little flower. And But I couldn't find nothing in that color to, you know, finish off the whole project and, and make it all flow together. So I ended up not using that one, but I used the material and made rolled roses. So after covering the handles with the strips of that material, I got different colors of seam binding, some of the material, uh, lace, and I did a little loop, and then I made a little bow to hold it all together. On the bottom of there, I tea dyed that doily, cut it in half, and put one on each side. Um, so let me see. On the front, I put wedding applique first, and then on both sides of the flower, and then I made a bunch of little round uh, or the rolled roses in small and then I did one really big. Um, so after I did them I put doilies on top of the wedding trim and then I put the rolled rolls and the center is an old earring. Again I did another rolled rolls there. I put some of this little um, squiggly beaded thing trim behind it my friend Gail, who is Fab of Four, just sent me them applique uh, leaves in pink. And I put one there and one up here. The back side of this pink doily that I did not use all of it, what I did was I made little cones of it and then stuck some little uh, flower trims in it. Or uh, wedding trim. Sprays. Uh, I put some pearls and some uh, paper flowers. This little uh, diamond centers are from Artie, One Little Dreamer. I also made little loops of the flat back uh, trim from Hobby Lobby. Uh, what else did I do? I put a word bead, some more of the flat back trim, some more of the little cone sprays right there. And that's getting stuck. So that is my cute little bucket. Hope you like it. But. I put some of the flowers in there, like this one's from Leah Neca. Um, let me see. These two right here, she, Leah Neca made them for me, but I added more doilies to the back because I wanted them bigger than that, although I want to make a different sizes. So there's them. And then I did this one, and I used lace, a circle of it. Another one of them pink doilies or dusty rose, I guess. That's a little bit darker than that. I did more doilies, some from D, one little dreamer, right there and right there. And then, see this little piece of 
lace right there, it's just a little cone of a scrap. And I tucked them in here and there to give it a little bit more um, interest. And then um, I believe this one also right here might be from D. And then um, I put in a little piece of that flower trim from that sweater I have. And then another piece from D and a vintage button. I also incorporated little pieces of uh, wedding applique. So there's that one. And then um, this one actually Sabrina made me uh, in a flower swap. And um, how pretty is that? I also dyed muslin and um, so that I can do my strips of flower. Um, I can't wait to, to finish them. I'm on, on this flower kit. Uh, this one is, I have this square doily, and it's kind of odd to do anything with, but what I did was I cut off the, the little pieces, and then, uh, so it gave me that, I folded it over, made a little cone, and then uh, I glued seven of them together, and I'm not too worried about the back because I want to glue it down on a project. I put some of this... Um, Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting the name of the trim. Or, uh, not trim, but, um, you filter stuff through it. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then I put another one of the little trim, and then the little flower and a vintage button. And, um, this right here was, like I said, on a sweater, a big long sweater. I took the whole sweater apart. This is all I have left of it. And, uh, it gives you these, uh, little. So they're not kind of doilies, but they're flowers. And so that is what is back here. And then the front part is a flower, but it is from a... Um, how does this go? It's a sweater. Now these little things are a pain in the butt to trim around, but once you trim around it, you get the cutest little flower and it's on a silky, shiny uh, thread and it's kind of like 3D. So it's really cute. Um, so that's what I put in the center of that and then the vintage earring. This one I think is my favorite so far. And uh, I used a couple of doilies from D. And then I did a little circle of lace right there in between them. Uh, some more doilies, another one of them little flower things, and then a little vintage or a little um, piece of jewelry. So there is that flower, and I just love it. So I am off to go and uh, tea dye some material because I want to do uh, more flowers and I want to fill up my bucket. So, uh, and finish my um, suitcase. So, um, thank you again, Kathy Lynn, for the inspiration to do my bucket. And I'll post a picture in the group in a little bit. And uh, Doreen, thanks for inviting me and Alice to do the traveling suitcase. And you guys, come join the group. It's such a wonderful group there. Um, the ladies are just awesome. Uh, Michelle Piping is one of the design team members for uh, Ooh La La. And so is Violet, um, and Violet, forgive me, I think it's more than paper. Oh my gosh, Violet, I can't remember it. On YouTube. Um, so, um, come and join the suitcase uh, challenge and, and alter a suitcase that you can take along with you when you go and visit one of your scrappy friends. Um, and we will talk with you all later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Ouch.